Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's talk a bit about Devin Haney um, because he has uh, he's been made champion recess by the WBC. Uh, he's the one forty pound belt holder. The fight with uh, Ryan Garcia was changed to a no contest. Uh, hence, he got his um, unbeaten record back. That's a decision I agreed with. Um, but Haney says he's physically, mentally and emotionally unfit to immediately defend his 140-pound belt and has been moved to champion, rece- champion in recess. Former, champion Alber- former world champion Alberto Puello will instead fight Sandor Martin of Spain for the junior welterweight title. Now, a lot of people um, are going to say this is a swerve by Haney because the Sandor Martin fight for Haney was going to be a mandatory it went to purse bids. The winning purse bid was two point something million, one point two point one million, or something like that. Two point two million, um, which some people would argue is not a bad, um, not a bad purse for a Sandor Martin fight, especially as not only Martin but Haney. They're not particularly exciting fighters. Sandor Martin's a very awkward but effective fighter, a very good fighter, very like I say, very effective. But put him in with Haney, who himself is sort of boxer, not particularly hard hitting. And yeah, it wasn't, it was not a very appealing fight. Although I do think Martin deserves his shot at the title. I think he's a really good fighter. I think he beat Teofimo Lopez and he beat, uh, was it Mikey Garcia a couple of years ago, a few years ago. So he deserves his shot. But of course, if you're, if you believe that you are worth a certain amount and you're only offered third of that or whatever, as is the case with Haney, especially coming off the back of that battering from from Garcia, he's probably thinking, oh, hell with this, I don't need this at all. Uh, so he's exit stage left. Okay, fair enough. But Jose Suleiman said, I absolutely support Devin Haney and agree with his reasons why he needs a layoff. Um what happened to Haney in New York is one of the greatest injustices I've seen in boxing. Meeting a fighter who did not make weight, who played mind games and had performance-enhancing drugs in his system, Haney still fought like a warrior. He got knocked, th- knocked down three times, and while many others would have stayed on the canvas, he got up every time. I respect Devin Haney after the- I respected Devin Haney after that fight more than ever, and will fully support any decision he makes. Well, okay. I don't actually disagree with that from Jose Suleiman uh, of the WBC. However, when you consider that Suleiman, when asked about Garcia, when asked about the punishment for Garcia, said, we're not talking about punishment. We're talking about um, helping him. You know, he's got mental health issues and so on and so forth. That's an important thing. And you know, we're not even thinking about punishment. Well, look, Jose, let me explain something to you. Look, I, as I've said before many, many times, I've worked for many years with people in addiction drink drugs both you know and i was always always of the opinion that if you break the law drugs is never an excuse drinks never an excuse now of course you offer some sort of help some sort of treatment but rehabilitation has to go hand in hand with retribution because there are victims in crimes and in this case the victim is Devin Haney. Whatever you think of Devin Haney, I know Devin Haney's not popular, and I have no horse in this race. I don't particularly like Haney. I don't particularly like watching him fight. It, it does seem a little bit like he believes he's worth more than he is. Garcia is just away with the fairies. God knows, but poor old Garcia. I mean, he, he, I mean, in, in a sense, there goes the ice cream truck. Um, in a sense, you know, Suleiman is right about both these guys. He's right that Haney needs time out because he got the SH1T beaten out of him. And he's also right that Garcia needs help. But but you've got to be prepared to take the help. You've got to be there, you know, to get the help. You know, you, you've, got to, you've got to step forward and say, I need help. Last time I heard about Ryan Garcia, he was, and I don't follow these things religiously because I'm not, unless they're in the ring, I'm not really that fussed. But Garcia was smashing up some hotel room. You know, what was he, drunk again? Well, you know, if this isn't a case of, you know, staring reality in the face but not being able to see it, I don't know what is. So I I kind of, I kind of think that Jose Suleiman is not being consistent here. You can't have everything. You've got to say regarding Garcia, 
okay, we'll get you the help, but come on, you, you got caught with PEDs in your system. Whether, they, whether you meant them to be there or not is irrelevant. You got caught with performance-enhancing drugs, and that's, that comes with a slap on the wrist. In fact, more than that should come with more than a slap on the wrist. Um, as you may know, Garcia took a year's ban, which is, for a first offence, it's got to be at least two years, possibly three, but it's a year's ban. He had to give back some money, didn't he? I mean, it was... Um, oh God, what, what was it? How much did he have to give back? I know he had to give a million million dollars to Golden Boy for some reason. I thought they would have gone to Haney. But whatever the case, we are where we are. Where we are where we are. And um, there's also talk of Haney, according to this little uh, thing I'm reading here, there's also a talk of Haney um, mulling over a civil lawsuit against Garcia for damages incurred in that recent fight um Haley's believed to have gained eight figures in earnings from the Garcia fight the WBC purse bid for him in in against Martin only drew one bid a top rank and the bid to pay both fighters would have landed Haley just over 1.6 million so yeah that is probably that's over 2 million isn't it? when you break it all down for the whole purse bid um what else have we got here yeah Puello, who will fight Martin for the for the belt, he recently beat um, Gary Antoine Russell. Very very good, good win for him. He's a good fighter, Puello actually, and that was a that was a good performance against Russell. So I, I don't begrudge him. I don't begrudge Martin. There, there, you know, spot in the sunlight. But but champion in recess. I mean, it seems to me if. I know Suleiman's trying to be all things to all people. He's trying to say, okay, you, you, you took a batter in and yes, there were extenuating circumstances, so he won't completely strip you. And he's saying to Garcia, well, you had drugs in your system, but we won't fully punish you. I don't know. I don't know. It all seems a little bit convoluted to me. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think we'll see... Devin Haney at 140 again. I think he'll probably jump up to 147 because despite the fact that he made the weight for the Garcia fight, um, he was actually talking about it being a bit of a struggle. I mean, God knows how he got to 135 for so long. I kind of showed at 135. He looked quite weak. And and then you're in against the guy who's headed up and coming in three pounds overweight at 140. If that's been a struggle, that, that couldn't have helped him. But anyway, anyway. Like I say, that's where we are at the moment with this. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And, um, yeah, comments below. I'll have a read of them. Am I missing anything? Let me know if you think I am. Um, and thank you for your time. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Spread the word about Joe's Thunder Boxing and hit the like button if you like the video. If you didn't like the video, hit the like button anyway. Be generous. Show love. Uh, they, apparently they count the likes. It's um, algorithms. I don't know what the fucking algorithm is, but anyway, they count them. All right. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I'll get you later. Bye for now.